Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Striking credentials, prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you all waiting for live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibayev. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. is palpable as this fight gets underway and it's interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all and in those situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out now he's got the muay thai plot well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful one. Couple of chins here being tested early. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counters after blocking shots. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. Oh, he's got the over-under. We'll see what he can do with it. Double leg here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Close guard. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice body kick. And both guys really throw him with authority. Man, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take any of those hooks to end your night. Blocks the strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now we're going. Just went off. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He's out! Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, Kevin the Trailblazer Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time when you get a knock. 